Lagi natin araw-araw, sobrang ilit. Kahit nasa loob na tayo ng opisina o bahay. Bakit nga ba hindi masalag na mga bintana natin ang sobrang init na sinag ng araw? Pero mga mare, worry no more. Dahil may technology ng sasagot sa hinaing natin ito. Kapag nalaman ninyo ang tungkol sa nanocode solution ng Trendway Builders, baka mamangharing kayo na sa pamagitan lang ng simpleng liquid solution, lalamig ng tutay ang loob ng inyong bahay. Alamin natin yan today dito lang sa DOS TV, Science for the People. <coughs> Nandito tayo ngayon sa Trendway sa Congressional Avenue upang makausap ang nagpasimula ng nanocode technology dito sa bansa. Ito yung para maiwasan ang init na ating nararamdaman sa mga gusali at sa ating mga tahanan. Ang nanocode anti-heat solution, paano nga ba nag-work? Atin pulutin ang interesting na kaalaman na ito mula kay Mr. Edmond Lee ng Trendway Builders. Magandang araw Sir Edmond. Good day also sa'yo, Jel. Ayan, sir. Pag-usapan natin, nanocoat technology. Para sa kaalaman ng lahat, ano po bang nanocoat? Uh, ang nanocoat ay isang uh, glass coating that mm -hmm. uh, does thermal control. no? So, ano po yung glass coating? Ang glass coating po ay isang pintura na pinapahid sa salamin. Pero ang kagandahan nito o nakakaiba dito is pagiging clear niya mm -hmm. o transparent siya. So, ano ang purpose ng itong paint na to? So, once your glass, like it's your window, ay napinturhan po ng nanocoat, clear pa rin siya, meaning the sunlight still comes in, pero nakokontrol niya yung pagpasok ng init at saka ng UV, which okay. is ayaw po natin no, na makapasok sa atin. So, syempre, of course, alam natin yung mga tint, eh, di ba? So, anong difference niya mainly of ang tint and then this nanocoat? Ah, okay. um, two major things ang pwede kong i- sabihin na pagbabago o naiiba no sa tint no first is when you say tint well actually tint is dark no or colored no uh, in many instances uh, the reason nga na naglagay tayo ng isang salamin is gusto rin natin yung bukod sa sunlight na papasok gusto rin natin yung view nakikita po yung loob natin e kung na tint na po siya didilim na po yes so for example yo kayo po ay nasa restaurant industry or nasa retail industry eh hindi yung makikita yung activity po sa loob no that's the first thing uh, ang second thing ho na pwede nating masabing uh, pag naiba kasi sa ngayon no sa panahong ngayon yung mga salamin po because of technology kaya na pong gumawa ng malalaki at matatangkad na salamin so uh, tint uh, by its nature may limited na dimension so oras na ginamit po natin siya ay eh, magkakaroon po tayo ng kakapusan no kakapusin po ng konti so nagdudugtong po tayo doon uh, walang problema sa duktong yung in terms of uh, let's say performance kanya lang nagiging hindi siya magan maganda, maganda. Uh, mm -hmm. kasi nagkakaroon po siya ng guhit no uh, that's the first thing mm -hmm. and the second thing yung duktong po o yung seam yung po ang nagiging uh, cause of weakness ibig sabihin dun po nagkakaroon ng peeling o pagbabakbak eventually mm -hmm. so nasisira po siya because of uh, yung pagka seam niya mm -hmm. So, ito yung mga application ng nanocoat, yes. di ba sir? Talagang ito nag-venture na kayo sa ganitong negosyo. Yes. And then, paano yung nagiging, ano pa, sabihin highlights using this technology? Um, of course, the benefits, no? Yes. Um, one of which is, I have to mention this pala, mm -hmm. kasi coating ho siya. It's a water-based na okay. product. Mm -hmm. So, ngayon po, napaka-conscious ho natin pagiging, sa pagiging uh, sustainable, uh, environment, green environment. Mm -hmm. So, itong product na to, ang pinaka-breakthrough niya is they're able to use water as the base. So, very important po siya. Mm -hmm. no? uh, we can say that this is an environment-friendly uh, product. No? Uh, 
uh, another thing is uh, because of it, it being water based uh, wala siyang strong smell uh, wala siyang VOC no so in fact we have done several projects before na like in a cafeteria uh, people are eating like 5 meters away and we are applying nano coat and wala ho tayong nakukuhang walang amoy walang complain uh, as if we were just there cleaning the glass lang parang ganun so yan po ang ano okay so sir edmond kwento niyo muna sa amin sabi niyo nga nag uh, nag start kayo sa ganito ng negosyo and then meron na kayong mga clients talaga kumbaga ano to parang loyal clients na bang mabay <laughs> tuturing pero paano kayo nag start sabihin malaki ba agad yung mga uh, projects na nakuha ninyo um, let me tell you a story or how yeah. I started. Uh -huh. no? So, ako, I, I travel a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I go to different places and I always observe. I always keep my eyes and ears open. I also go to some mga exhibitions, mm -hmm. etc. So, in one of my travels, I uh, encountered ko to uh, sa isang exhibition. And uh, what caught my attention was yung pagiging, you know, yung, yung the nature no? of a clear coat, pero nagbablock ng heat no kasi akala ko sabi ko uh, paanong something na clear nakablock ng heat ang alam natin something has to be dark mm -hmm. no ngunit uh, na ipaliwanag naman sa akin na mabuti yung kausap ko uh, one of which is uh, to my uh, discovery mm -hmm. is uh, yung heat and light pala are two different wavelengths something that I, wa I didn't I wasn't aware of before so sabi niya kung two different wavelengths non all you have to do is just just attack the wavelength of the heat para hindi na siya makapasok. Mm -hmm. So it really caught my interest. And uh, thinking forward, uh, alam po natin na the Philippines is a tropical country. Correct. Well, always warm. Yes. Sabi nga ng friend ko, dalawa lang ang weather sa Philippines eh. Warm and warmer lang eh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's one thing, no? Uh, all, the other thing is, uh, napapansin din natin when we go around sa metropolis, uh, the use of glass is getting more and more prominent. So, whether we are a tropical country or not, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang gamit ng glass no? as a building material. So, I thought, uh, being looking at this as a uh, opportunity on the business size, side, and also sa side naman ng uh, 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 environment, no? is nakakatulong po tayo. So, I decided to put things together. So, an, paano naman yung, of course, meron tayong mga kapwa Pilipino, mga ordinaryong mamamayan, paano nila mapapakinabangan yung ganitong klase ng technology? In terms of use, uh, of course, uh, ang, ang vision ko dito is for everybody. No? It's not something na sa mga taong may kaya lang. Uh, this is for me, uh, every Filipino deserve to have a good life, no? to enjoy a, a good home also. Mm -hmm. So, very fortunately also, uh, you know, this technology has been around for so many years na. But as in any technology, sa umpisa, hindi siya ganyan ka commercially viable mm -hmm. or affordable. So for the past maybe 15, 20 years, yung improvement on the production and because of research and development, nagiging more affordable na siya. So maganda din timing namin. Nung namit namin, tamang tama nagiging affordable na rin siya which we introduced this mga ten, 8 years ago in 2010 so now what we are doing we're pricing our product much lower than the tent mm -hmm. so pag sinabi ng iba because ang isip ng ibang kasamahan natin uh, kababayan natin na ay mahal gumamit ng tent eh. well i'm happy to tell everybody that there's a solution now na to make it affordable very affordable na for, for us to use. Even ordinary Filipino can use this. At may tuturing talaga, nasabi mo namin, kayo ang pioneer pagdating sa ganitong klase ng business using this technology. Yes, Pero are. very affordable yung very inyong affordable. Uh, production and I mean, I mean yung services ninyo. Yes, very mm -hmm. affordable. Ito po yung instrument na sinasabi ko. No? Ang tawag po dito is IR thermometer. Mm -hmm. So, when you press the trigger here, meron siyang isang parang infrared na light to point directly at the part na gusto mong i-kuhanan uh, ng temperature. No? So what we will do now is, if I turn on the lamp, itatapat ko dito sa may tapat ng 
ilaw sa no? mismo sa sa salamin mismo salamin. no kukunin niya yung temperature sa salamin hindi siya lulusot eh yung temperature yung surface ng salamin ang kukunin niya ng temp kukunan ng temperature no and what we will show here is it's supposed to be warmer pag mm -hmm. naka nano coated na glass kasi na capture niya eh mm -hmm. hindi siya pinalusot okay para naabsorb niya yung init naabsorb niya yung okay. init okay i will turn this on okay so ito normal ito normal so i'll get the temperature of this one no so you will see that the reading is around nasa 50 49 to 50 no okay yeah okay. 48 40, 40 yeah. 50 okay. okay so if we move this around it's going to be warmer so same here no Bilis. Yeah. Yeah. 60 62 63 62 so you will see that there's a major difference of yes. around 12 13 14 degrees celsius no yung po yung heat na hindi pinayagam lumusot mm -hmm. so pag hindi siya lumusot lalaming na po yung after the glass Galing, oh. sobrang laki ng difference sobrang laki ng difference I have to turn this off, para hindi kayo mainitan. Ayan, dito sabi nyo nga na-absorb ng salamin yung init. Yes. Kasi yung concern ng iba, baka naman sa sobrang init, na-block nga yung init, baka sumabog naman yung kanilang salamin. Very good. Very good question na na-bring out mo siya, no? Okay, of course, this is abnormally high. Kasi halogen lang po yung ginagamit natin. Pero in real life, pag sunlight po, the warmest temperature na na-capture namin sa isang nano-coated glass is sa mga nasa 55 degrees Celsius lamang. Mm. 55 degrees Celsius. So sabi ng iba, nakakapaso na siya yung 55. Yes, yes, totoo. At baka makabasag ng salamin. Uh, tandaan po natin, we also use our glass, you know, glass cup to drink, let's say, coffee. Hot, hot coffee. Or, okay. Yes. Anything hot. Anything hot. <laughs> hot tea, hot coffee. Mm. Boiling water po ang ginagamit uh -huh. natin. Alam po natin na boiling water is 100 degrees Celsius hindi ko niya kayang basagin yung glass. Kasi ang glass, it only starts reacting kung umabot ka na ng 600 degrees Celsius. Oh. That's the time na nagiging, nagiging molten siya. Mm -hmm. So, from 55 to 600, sobrang layo na po siya. Uh, of course, uh, yung glass, nababasag siya if there's a sudden change of temperature. Now, for example, the same glass, if you bring it out from the ref, uh -huh. at dinagyan mo siya ng kumukulong tubig. Yan, mapuputok po siya. Ayun. But if it's gradual, wala po okay siya. Okay lang yan. Wala Very po safe. Siya. Yeah. Very safe. Oh. Very safe po siya. Our company is like more than 50 years already. Started by my father. Mm -hmm. And as in any business naman, kailangan na nag-a-adapt tayo sa changes. No? So, nag -e evolve din siya. So, uh, Trendway Builders is into lumber and hardware before for so many years. Then, around in the late 1990s, we started venturing into importation of uh, products because we look at the market as dynamic. Eh. Hindi tayo pwedeng stagnant, no? So, when we bring in products, ang unang titingnan namin are mga sustainable products. So, we went into importing of uh, flooring materials, no? Uh, laminate flooring particularly. And then, I, also, I continue to look for products, mga new products, I continue to look until I encountered this one. So, um, ang behavior na, ang attitude na inadapt ko is I'm always open to new and uh, innovative ideas. Mm. It takes a while, it's challenging, but I enjoy doing this kasi alam ko may ginagawa akong tulong or kabutihan para sa ating lipunan. Parang ang ganda kasi ng transition, of course, na-apply natin ang science and technology yeah. dito sa field ng inyong pagninegosyo. Yeah. Pero kumusta yung mga, of course, competition sa market, paano kayo nakakasabay, and then ano yung mga challenges na pinagdaraanan ninyo at paano nyo na-handle? Well, w wala namang easy <laughs> business to do, you eh, know? So, mapunta muna tayo sa challenges. Mm -hmm. um, uh, approach ko dito is two-prong, eh two-prong or two-phase. First is you have to introduce the technology. Mm -hmm. So this is something new and this is always a challenge. So in order to do that, ang approach ko doon is to inform and educate the, the market. Mm -hmm. no? So we do it with industry people like mga architects, mga designers, contractors. We also do this with mga layman, no? mga end user. No? So we talk to uh, house homeowners or mga corporate owners. And looking forward mm -hmm. also, we go to the extent of educating the youth. No? Uh, yun yung mga, ano eh, mga future leaders natin. Eh. So we go around schools, particularly mga architectural schools, 
colleges and we give them uh, talks no about this like yesterday we just did one no so it's a architectural school yes mm -hmm. so the administration is very appreciative the professors are very appreciative even the students no dami nila mga question and answers <laughs> yes so um it we're gaining ground we're gaining ground uh, alam namin this is a process uh, it takes time mm -hmm. but the thing is we're gaining ground yan po ang importante mm -hmm. Uh, in terms of uh, competition, well, uh, as I said, nga, hindi naman mawawala yung competition. And I always welcome competition. Uh, in fact, having competition opens up the pie. Lumalaki yung pie. Eh. So, uh, my hope for this industry is for people to uh, realize that this having a thermal control on your windows is not a luxury. It is a need. It is a basic need. Because when you have thermal control, you control the entry of heat. Uh, nababawasan actually yung disturbance eh, sa interior, no? yung init, yung irritation, etc. And if we are going to see on the economic side, side of it, nakasave tayo sa kuryente. Because sa uh, the aircon, hindi na niya kailangan trabahuhin yung nasave na, na pagpasok na init. No? Which in our case, I can promise you, I can bring down at least five degrees Celsius of in it. And if you talk to a mechanical engineer, sasabi niya malaking bagay po to, no? In terms of uh, work na nasa save ng air conditioning. Ayun, napaka importante nun. Talagang tipid sa kuryente, sir. Yes. Di ba? Alam naman napakahirap magbayad <laughs> ng bills. <laughs> Ayun. At nabanggit nyo kanina, eto maging necessity na ng lahat. Di ba? Yes. So, Paano yung mga ordinary maumayan? Siyempre kanina nabanggit yung mga restaurant and other establishment, pwede i-apply. Yes, pwede, pwede. So other um, siguro establishments or ano pang pwede yung ma-advise na pwede paggamitan itong nanocode? Uh, of course, sa uh, lahat ng bahay-bahay, no? anything that's architectural. As I think wala namang sigurong... Salamin. Yes. Sa tingin, wala, sa tingin ko naman, wala pa naman sigurong building na walang salamin o bintana. <laughs> okay. no? So, it uh, comprises everything. No? Residential, condo, mm -hmm. non-residential. When you say non-residential, uh, commercial, uh, institutional, everything. No? Even mga, may ginawa na kami ng mga planta. Because uh, the design of plants ngayon, hindi yung naka-enclosed talaga. Mm -hmm. Meron silang mga salamin na fix to let sunlight come in. Again, you also have the problem of the heat, no? Uh -huh. So we also do that. Uh -huh. Yun, uh, in terms of uh, uh, widening naman ng usage, we're looking at vehicles as a... Pwede. Pwede. Uh, particularly, we're looking at mga, mga tourist bus. Uh -huh. Because uh, if you will notice, no? Well, there's, there's a law. Ibang salamin nila Ibang salamin nila. <coughs> there's a law, which is in the 1970s pa, that this allows the use of tint, actually, the use of tint and curtain sa mga public transport. Mm -hmm. This is, the reason for this is for the security and safety of the passengers mm -hmm. inside. But if you look around, hindi yata na-implement itong law na to, no? Because we understand that napakainit po na, na bumiyahe, uh -oh. no? So they put their curtains and ano, actually all of them are violating. So if uh, the people, no? uh, maybe people from LTFRB or LTO can take a look at this one, uh, this is actually a solution for, so we can implement the law of not putting cover, so for the security of the passengers, but then we still save them from the, um, uh, yung pagiging uncomfortable no? of traveling under the heat of the sun. Okay. Pero kumusta yung feedback, sir, ng mga clients ninyo? Very positive. Uh, some took takes a little time. They will take them about mga one month to realize. Uh, but most of the time, very immediate ang response. Uh, I would say 80-85% of our clients are users. When you say users, yung nakalipat na. Mm -hmm. Nakalipat na. So, na-experience na nila yung init. And they feel the, the impact, the difference. No? So, they get back to us. Um, one way of saying na alam kong they're happy because they actually have repeat areas eh, other areas pinapagawa nila or they recommend their friends. For me, that's the highest form of uh, parang uh, showing their appreciation no? uh, because when they start recommending to us. So, very happy sila. So, maybe you, anong vision ninyo dito sa gantong klase ng negosyo? Oh, bigat yata, <laughs> vision. <laughs> uh, um, as a Filipino, 
I really wish that uh, every Filipino home can get to use this one. Uh, being a pioneer in the industry, uh, we don't take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. We even make our price lower than the existing uh, solution provider. No? Uh, we being a substitute product, we even price it lower uh, because our vision is for every Filipino home to use this. Ang mindset of being it as a luxury to a basic need. Uh, sana po magkatotoo po ang aking uh, vision. Pwede po natin bagkit ni sir kung magkano nga? Halimbawa, per square meter? Square foot. Ah, okay. okay. Uh, for this industry, we still mm. use the square foot as a basis. basis no? um, our, our price is much lower. I think 30, 40% lower. No? 30 or 40% mm -hmm. lower. So, ang price po namin is at 180 per square foot. That's inclusive of the material and uh, the application mm -hmm. service. No? And, and labor. And labor. And warranty. 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 May warranty ko po kami for five years, the uh, product. Ayun. At ang isipin natin, napakalaki na may tutulong at matitipin natin sa kuryente. Yes. Di ba, sir? Missed an episode? Want to try Pinoy recipe? Or check today's weather? Or perhaps just be amazed at events, people, and places of science, technology, and innovation. Get them all here via the DOS TV app. Just download the app and you'll see the shows anytime, anywhere. Don't be left behind. Be updated and watch DOS TV. DOS TV app. Now available on Google Play. Magandang araw ho sa lahat ng ating mga kababayan. Sa kasalukuyan ay wala tayong monitor na sama ng uh, panahon o kaya na may low pressure area sa loob po ng ating era of responsibility. Pero itong ITCC o Intertropical Convergence Zone patuloy ho nakaka-apekto ngayon sa Eastern Visayas maging sa buong Mindanao. Kahit asahan pa rin natin na part ng Mindanao at sa Eastern Visayas makaranas ng maulap na kalangitan na may light to moderate rains and thunderstorms due to intertropical convergence zone. At para na nga sa pagtayan ng ating panahon dito ho sa Northern Mindanao maging sa Caraga Region, sa Eastern Visayas at sa Sambuanga Peninsula makaranas pa rin ng maulap na kalangitan na may light to moderate rains and thunderstorms. But apart from that, dito po sa Metro Manila nila at sa nalalabing bahagi pa ng ating bansa, generally fair weather for today maliban na lamang sa local ay thunderstorms. Uulitin po natin at i-emphasize uh, ho natin na sa Metro Manila at sa nalalabing bahagi pa ng ating bansa ay okay naman ho ang weather sa ngayon pero possible pa rin ho ang thunderstorms especially during afternoon or evening. Para naman sa pagtay ng ating temperatura dito sa Metro Manila pwedeng umabot hanggang sa 32 degrees Celsius ang ating maximum temperature for, the, for today habang mainit ho doon sa Tugigaraw na pwedeng umabot hanggang sa 34 degrees Celsius na maximum temperature, 32 degrees Celsius ho sa Ligaspi City habang 31 degrees Celsius sa Puerto Princesa City at sa Lawag City at 21 degrees Celsius naman ho sa Baguio City. Sa so, dito naman sa uh, Metro Cebu, 32 degrees Celsius kayo din sa Tacloban City at 31 naman sa Iloilo City. Sa Davao City, mainit din ho ang inaasahan nating panahon doon na pwedeng umabot hanggang sa 34 degrees Celsius na maximum temperature, 32 degrees Celsius sa Cagayan de Oro at gayon din ho sa Sampuanga City. Good news pa rin sa ating mga kababayang mga dahil wala ho tayong inaasahan na gale warning ngayon at wala pong nakataas na gale warning ngayon sa namang bahagi ng ating mga baybaying dagat or do posible ho ang katamtaman hanggang sa maalong karagatan ho especially dito sa, sa eastern section ng Luzon. Pero the rest of our coastal areas ay nasa natin nakatamtaman lamang ang pag-alon ng karagatan. 
At para sa ating forecast dito sa Metro Manila in the next three days, wala ho tayong inaasahang malawak ang pagulan maliban na lamang sa localized thunderstorms in the afternoon or evening. Magantapay tayo sa mga thunderstorm advisories na ipinapalabas ng pag-asa sa atin ho Twitter account at Facebook account, maging sa ating website at uh, mag-keep on monitoring ho. 25 to 32 degrees Celsius ang tinatayang magiging agwat ng ating temperatura sa kamay nilaan in the next three days. Sa Baguio City naman, inaasahan na ho natin doon ang improved weather simula pa rin ho sa araw na ito hanggang sa susunod na tatlong araw ay bahagyang maulap hanggang sa maulap lamang ang kalangitan at um, uh, may mga possibilities din ng thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening. 16 to 24 degrees Celsius ang temperature range doon sa Baguio City. Sa Legazpi City naman, in the next three days, wala ho tayong weather disturbance na inaasahan na magkakos ng malawak ang pag-ulan doon maliban na lamang sa localized thunderstorms. 25 to 32 degrees Celsius din ho ang tinatayang magiging agwat ng ating temperatura sa Metro Cebu, sa Legazpi City. Sa Cebu naman, Bukas po hanggang sa Thursday ay bahagang maulap hanggang sa maulap lamang ang ating kalangitan doon. But come Friday ay maaaring makarana sa ating mga kababayan na maulap na kalangitan na may light to moderate rains. Kaya saan man po ang inyong lakad sa araw na ito, huwag kong kalimutang magdala ng payong, raincoats o anumang panangala sa ulan. 26 or 24 to 32 degrees Celsius so ang tinatayang magiging agwat ng ating temperatura sa Metro Cebu. And finally sa Metro Davao, in the next two days ay bahagay maulap hanggang sa maulap po tayo. Hang, pagdating naman ng Friday ay maulap na ho ang ating kalangitan doon na may mga possibilities na mga light to moderate rains na pagulan at mga pagkidlat, pagkulog. 24 to 34 degrees Celsius so ang temperature, temperature range na inasahan sa Metro Davao. At ang sunset natin kanina, sunrise natin kanina is 5.45 in the morning at inaasahang lulubog ang araw mamaya sa ganap na alas 5.56 ng hapon. Ito po si Lori de la Cruz mula dito sa Pag-asa. Magandang araw ho. DOS TV would like to thank Filipino Creazione de Mano Incorporated. Visit their showroom at Ground Floor Lobby, PSMBFI Building, 318 Santon Road, West Cramer, San Juan City. Saitev, the world's leading source of reliable and authoritative news, views, and analysis on information about science and technology for global development. Visit their website at www.saitev.net. Bata tayo, simpleng simpleng definition ng technology at machine ay anything that makes life easier. At totoo nga ito, dahil sa mga teknolohiya na tulad ng nanocoat, ang buhay ay hindi lang easier, more comfortable pa. Salamat po sa pagtutok ninyo sa amin ngayong araw. Ako po si Jal Miranda at ito po ang programang Hatid sa Inyo ang Good News Everyday sa World of Science and Technology. Ito po ang DOS-TV, Science for the People.